Hello everyone. Today in this video, we are going to discuss another example to compute first and follow. So I have taken this grammar. For this grammar, we are going to find out the first set as well as the follow set for all the non-terminals here. So before getting into the problem, I request all my viewers, please subscribe to my channel and then watch. Okay. Now let's start computing the first and follow. Already in my previous videos, I have given the rules how to find first and follow. Okay. Now let us find first of yes. So first of yes, in place of yes, just check what could we replace. In place of x, we could replace it by x, b, d, y. And see what is the first symbol. First symbol itself is a terminal. So directly we can add it as first of yes. First of s is x. Right, that's all. Now let us find what is first of b. In place of b, we could replace c followed by a variable c. So the very first symbol is terminal c. So let me directly include that c as a first set of b. What is first of c? First of c is terminal b. Since C directly produces epsilon, we can include epsilon also as a first set of C. Now let us move on to first set of D. So first set of D, how do we compute? Let us draw the parse tree, the partial parse tree. D can be replaced by E and F. In place of E, we could replace either E or epsilon. If we replace E, then first of D is E. So let me include E here. But in place of E, if I replace epsilon, then first of D should be computed from F. So what is the definition for F? Definition for F is the terminal F. Right? So F can be replaced by F also. So let me replace it by F. At the same time, this F could be replaced by epsilon also. Let me write epsilon by E or I can write it by the symbol epsilon. So E also can be replaced by epsilon. F also can be replaced by epsilon. And D indirectly produces epsilon. So first of D contains epsilon also. Okay, what is first of E? It is E as well as epsilon. What is first of F? It is F as well as epsilon. So we have computed first set for all the variables. Maybe uh, this might be a little confusing. I'll explain once again. We are finding the first set for D. Let us draw the parse tree. This D could be expanded as E and F. So continue to expand E. For E, there are two options. One is terminal E, another one is epsilon. If you replace it by terminal E, E should be included in the first set. But if you replace it by epsilon, then we should find first of D from first of F. So what is for F? Once again, for F, there are two alternatives. One is small f, another one is epsilon. If F is replaced by epsilon, when E produces epsilon, when F is replaced by F, first of D is F. If F is also replaced by epsilon, then first set of D contains epsilon. Okay, now we have found the first set for all the variables. Now we are going to find the follow set. By default, the start symbol of the grammar contains dollar in its follow set. Okay, now we have to first find follow of yes. The default symbol we have included. Apart from that also, we should try to find the follow of yes. How do we find the follow of yes? To find follow of yes, we have to select the rules which has yes on the right hand side. We don't have any rule which has s on the right hand side. So follow of yes contains one and only symbol which is dollar. So we computed follow set of yes. Now let us identify what is the follow set of b. So to compute follow set of B, we have to select the rules which has this B on the right hand side. So we have only this rule which has B on the right hand side. No other rule contains the variable B. So let us select the rule. Yes derives X, B, D, Y. Right. 
Now I have to match this rule with a pattern. What is a pattern? A derives for this symbol only we are going to find the follow set. So that is B. Before that whatever is there is alpha. After that whatever is there is beta. Right. So after B whenever there is beta. How do you find follow of B? As per the rule follow of B is equal to first of beta. First of beta. Here B is B itself. Follow of B is B itself. First of beta. So what is beta here? It is nothing but D as well as Y. Let us write completely. So what is first of D? First of D we have already identified as E F epsilon. So let me write it here. E F as well as epsilon. Right. One point we need to remember. The first set of symbol contains epsilon. But follow set of any symbol never contains epsilon. So what do we do here? Follow of B contains E and F. Don't exclude epsilon. I mean don't include epsilon now. Exclude epsilon. So let me update here. Follow of B contains E and F. But I cannot exclude epsilon as such. So what can I do? We know that D produces epsilon. Because first of D contains epsilon. So what do you do? Re uh, modify this rule like this. S derives x b in place of d replace it by epsilon so d vanishes and contain the rest of the rule which becomes x b y now try to match with the pattern what is a pattern for this symbol only we are continuing to find the follow set so this is b before that whatever is there is alpha after that whatever is there is beta right when the rule is of this form Follow of B is first of beta. The same rule applies here. So follow of B is B itself. First of Y. Oh sorry let me write it here. First of Y. Whenever you try to find the first of a terminal symbol. It is the same terminal symbol. So in this rule only we found. B is appearing on the right hand side. We try to match with this pattern. After B there is beta. Whenever there is beta after B. Follow of B is first of beta. That is a rule. So when we found the first of beta. We find E, F as well as epsilon. So E and F are included in the follow set. Since epsilon is also there. Now I am replacing this D by epsilon. When I replace this D by epsilon. This is the resultant rule. For this resulting rule, once again apply the same pattern and find follow of B. Follow of B is equal to first of Y. It is nothing but Y. So let me update this Y also here in the follow set of B. Now we have to find follow of C. Let me go to your fresh page. <coughs> we have to compute follow of C. To find follow of C, I have to consider the rules which contain C on the right hand side. So there are two rules. Let me write both the rules. B derives C, C. Another rule is C derives B, C. Let me include both the rules. First we uh, concentrate on this rule. In this rule A derives for this symbol only we are going to find the follow. That I match with B. Prefix is alpha. After that whatever is there is beta. In fact here there is no beta in this rule. Since there is no beta the rule is alpha b. Whenever the pattern of the rule is a derives alpha b. How do we find follow of b? Follow of b is follow of a. That is a rule. That's what the rule says. Right. So what is B here? B is nothing but C. Follow of C is equal to follow of B. So let me update as per in the table as per this. Follow of C is nothing but follow of B. So here also I should write E, F, Y. All the symbols here. 
okay now we have another rule which has c on the right hand side so i have to match the pattern with that so this is b this is alpha there is no beta here right if there is no beta the rule is follow of b is equal to follow of a so if i apply the rule the result what i am getting is follow of c is equal to follow of c so this rule does not make any change in the follow set the follow set remains the same next we have to find out follow of d follow of d is to be computed so to compute follow of d once again i have to select the rules which has d on the right hand side so this is the rule which has d on the right hand side so let me write it here s derives x b d y right so this is the rule now this rule i have to match with the pattern we are computing follow of d write b in concurrence with that the previous prefix is alpha the rest is beta if there is beta after b we know the rule follow of b is first of beta very simple right this is the rule as per this rule if i find follow of b is nothing but d is equal to first of beta is nothing but y that too it is a terminal for the terminal symbol if you find first it is nothing but the same symbol so what is follow of d follow of d is equal to y let me update that in the table next we are supposed to find follow of e so to compute follow of e i have to choose the rule d derives e f this is the rule we have right so i have to once again match with the pattern this is b this is beta there is no alpha here so how do you compute follow of b follow of b is equal to first of beta since there is beta so what is b here b is nothing but e follow of e is equal to first of f so what is first of f already we have computed first of f is f and epsilon isn't it so follow of e is equal to f as well as epsilon but whenever there is epsilon we should not include it in the follow set we can include f but we cannot include the epsilon so what do we need to do in place of e we should replace it by epsilon when you replace e by epsilon this rule uh, sorry when you replace f by epsilon the rule gets modified like this d derives e it becomes because f can be replaced by epsilon f only produces this epsilon so when you try to match with the pattern this is like a derives this is b there is neither alpha nor beta but alpha's presence or absence does not make any sense so we don't need to bother about alpha if there is beta follow of b is first of beta if there is no beta follow of b is what follow of a right so as per this follow of e is equal to follow of d this is what we get so how do we update now what is follow of e follow of e is equal to already we found f right let me write f here since it was producing epsilon we replaced this f by epsilon and we got this rule d derives e as per this rule follow of e is follow of d so what is follow of d it is y so follow of e must be updated with f as well as y f as well as y okay now at the last uh, we have to attempt we should find follow of f follow of f to find follow of f we have to consider only this rule d derives e f so for this symbol only we have to find follow so this is b there is no beta this is alpha and of course this is a when there is no beta what is the rule follow of b is equal to 
fall of A. So what is B here? It is F. Fall of F is equal to what is A here? It is nothing but D. Fall of D. So follow of F must be updated with follow of D. So follow of F is equal to Y. This is how we have to compute the rules. Just to conclude this video, I just once again uh, remind how to find the follow set. First rule is place dollar in follow of S, where S must be the start symbol. This is the first rule. And in the second rule, if the production rule is of the format alpha, b, beta, then follow of b is first of beta. It's very simple, right? You can easily remember. Whatever is following b, that should be included here. The third rule is a derives alpha, b, r, a derives alpha, b, beta, but this beta will produce epsilon. It means the first set of beta will contain epsilon. If the rule is of this format, follow of B is equal to follow of A. You need to remember the rules, then only it is easy to solve this problem. I hope you would have understood this problem. Please practice this problem. Thank you.